Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I've got another Utah feature for you and that is digital integrations in application portfolio management. Big, big feature release in Utah. I almost missed coverage on it, but hey, Vancouver's on that yet, so let's pay attention. All right, so I want you to think about two things uh, before we get down to showing you this. Right now, you probably track software or applications and the technology that supports that. So think hardware and infrastructure that supports software and applications that support business applications that support their users, right? But there's this thing that we all know about in IT that's called integrations. Integrations between different systems, whether they're internal or external to your organization. And now with ServiceNow Utah, we have an APM, the ability to track those integrations. They're called digital integrations. I'm in the enterprise architecture workspace in my PDI. Let's hop over to the list view or portfolio view. Notice all this stuff over here on the left-hand side. Two of them there are the digital integrations and digital interfaces, all right? These are kind of related. I'll show you these as we unpack one of them. I'm gonna unpack some demo data, not really create one myself, um, but I think this one, the attendance and payroll management system with an integration to MuleSoft should make sense for most people. So let's open up this digital integration and take a look at what this looks like. So we've got a name for the digital integration and a number, right? It's a record in service now. And I've got a digital interface, MuleSoft. Uh, it's provided by HR self-service and attendance and payroll management system is a subscriber business application. And we can see this is a process integration as opposed to a data or user interface integration. But let's talk a little bit about this digital interface for MuleSoft. Well, what is this? How did this get selected? If we open that by hitting the little I button, we can see what the digital interface looks like. And you're gonna see it looks a lot like a digital integration. So we've got MuleSoft, we've got a lifecycle stage on this, we've got provider business application, we've got the lifecycle stage status, interface type, and model ID. Notice with this interface type, we've got open API, partner API, internal API. You can have a parent associated with the digital interface, a description if someone wanted to put it in there. We can see the owners of the interface. So we've got Abraham Lincoln, Abel Tudor, two of my favorite personas in service now as the business owner and IT owner. We can see how it functions. This one is a REST protocol with a CSV message, right? But maybe it's SOAP, LDAP, SLDAP, FTP, FTPS, SFTP, or SCP. And then the message format could be JSON, XML. You fill in the blank on what that could be. And then authentication. Oops, I got rid of that. Let me open up functional again. Whoops, I got rid of that. Let's do this right here. Authentication, that's what I want. Open ID, certificate, WS security, LDAP, something else, basic auth. The authorization type, once you select the authentication type, um, any activities. So you can track all that for your digital interfaces, and then those can be part of a digital integration that you have documented in your uh, application portfolio management. Let's scroll on down here. Same functional stuff we just saw for the digital interface. I told you they're kind of similar, but now we've got data flow, outgoing, incoming, bi-directional, the response. Is it synchronous or asynchronous? Is it scheduled? Is it manual? Is it process driven? Is it an event? Um, what's the interaction type? A guaranteed message, pub sub, pull, push, interval, seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, quarters, years, and any middleware that might be in between. So you might have applications like interface engines or something else that's functioning as middleware to provide this integration. Business impact, right? That's what we want to know in application portfolio management. What's the criticality? What's the confidentiality? What's the integrity, the availability? So you got drop downs for all those, just like you would expect in application portfolio management for tracking those important attributes. We've got owners for this one. So and unlike the digital interface, Abraham Lincoln's the business owner, but the IT owner is actually Mary Humble. But we could also have supported by and support group. Um, and some work notes on that. And because it's an APM, we can have architectural artifacts actually associated with it. So we've got this application slash organization matrix and information objects. So we can see that this particular integration involves employee time and leaves data and employee payroll data. Critical, critical information uh, to understand how all this works. So that is digital integrations and digital interfaces in application portfolio management, new in Utah. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested in documenting their integrations in ServiceNow. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.